That's pretty bizarre. But you were getting positive reinforcement from thinking like that for oh, the absolutely. first time in your life. Absolutely. Yeah. Never felt like that before. But like taking a a big drug, like a Lucy, just boom, it felt like you're the man. Then everybody's telling you you're great. Yeah. You know? For the first time in your life. Never understood that. And you know what else the custom model used to do with me? He used to take me to a hypnotist. He was a hypnotist as well. Yeah, and I used to go into the hypnotist motions. What kind of shit do they make you do? You know. Like how they do it? If you relax, you go under, you totally f- focus on blackness, nothingness. Right. And you go under and you're just being the savage, intelligent animal. animal. You're just working, you're going to do this, you're going to be a ferocious animal, you're going to fight puff, puff, both hands to the body, you'll use your jab, you're going to do this in ferocious fashion. And they seeked all that in me as I was younger. And you were like 12, 13 years yeah. old? Wow. So they're putting you under and just teaching you that mindset. Yeah. Um. Well, when I said it, uh, and obviously, you know, I set off on this year-long journey from 15 to 16, and exactly a year to train for it. And I went off in the gym, and I couldn't, I couldn't get anywhere near it. You know, the, the, the most I ever pulled in the gym was 454 kilo. That's the most I'd ever pulled in the gym. So I go on this, this year-long journey, and, and I'm in the gym, and I'm pulling weights, and every week I'm getting more and more frustrated with myself. And then six months in... I'm like, shit, I've made a mistake here. I I can't pull 500 kilo off the floor. But I'd surrounded myself with an amazing team of doctors, scientists, blood doctors, psychologists, hypnotherapists, you name it, I had this, this team around me. And it was a scientist that actually sat me down one day and just explained to me that you're never gonna be able to lift that off the floor because the human body's not not capable of lifting that off the floor. But there is one way. And he he said, and this this is what really broke it down for me. You know, a day-to-day person who just takes the kids to school, does the shopping, goes to work, has access to about 50% of their muscle fibers. Somebody who trains 20 hours a week, maybe a little bit more has access to at most 65 to 70% of their muscle fibers. But then you get a a woman who's driving down the motorway in a big accident, kids under a car, and they can lift the car off of the kids. She has access to 100% of the muscle fibers. And why is that? It's the fight or flight scenario. And it's, it's just a massive release of hormone, adrenaline. And it's a natural thing. It's been proven. It's a natural thing that people can do extraordinary feats of strength when they're put in a scenario and it can't be faked you can't you can't click a finger and release it it can't be faked the only way to get it out of you is for someone to get a gun to your head live or die pull that weight off the floor and obviously i can't do that on the day i can't get someone to put a shotgun to my face and say pull that 500 kilo i'm sure you could maybe call a few people so (laughs) So that's the scenario I had to create in my head. Okay. And with a psychiatrist, with a hypnotherapist, we worked together and we got it to a point where I was able to create a scenario in my head that when I walked up to the 500 kilo, I wasn't lifting 500 kilo off the floor. To put it in retrospect, I was, I was lifting a car off of my kids. And that's the only way I was able to do that lift. I had to train my brain to put myself in this scenario. That wasn't the scenario I got in my head, by the way. I'm just giving you an example. Okay. The, the actual scenario is something that I cannot talk about because it's very dark, very deep, very disturbing. But it's something that triggered me. It's something that after months and months and months of talking about the worst scenario you could possibly be in and creating a pinch point on the back of my hand just before I walk out to the crowd, that put my 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 body and mind in this in this different place, and when I got strapped onto the bar, I get my straps on. I'm start rocking it back and forth, and just before I lift, I close my eyes, completely shut, the shut tight, and I just start lifting. And you know, I watch the footage back, and it's actually quite scary to see because my eyes open, but I'm just completely. I'm not looking at anything. My eyes open, not on purpose. And my eye color changes. And you can see it on camera, my eyes change color. And I pull and pull and pull, and I don't remember doing the lift at all. All I remember is waking up at the top of the lift. And the reason is, I I wasn't in that arena. I was off on that motorway lifting a car off my kids. 
There's a, it, it's a really, it was such a hard thing to do. And it really, <laughs> to, I mean, to do that, you know, to lift that half a ton off the floor and put your mind elsewhere was, it was the hardest thing I've ever had to do in my life. It really was mentally more than physically.